I have talked about this tool before and now I'm finally getting to release it. Uh, there are no special features involved in this so don't expect any huge uh, magic or, or stuff. I've, I've named it the WoW Map Editor, it's the alpha release so really it, it does just the basic stuff. First of all let's focus on what it does. Uh, the world map is made out of 12 images, uh, each is square and usually 256 on 256, um, basically 2 powered by 8. And this tool is just looking to the world map directories and it's trying to load these textures into a single image that you can load into the tool then export as a single one, uh, do edits, import and you know again end up with the split it map. So let's let's take a look on what it actually does. Uh, you can insert here the path to any wow but you I, I preferably coded this for 335 so let's double click on the label here and it will take me to path that is inserted right now. Uh, preferably Wrath of the Lich King 355 interface world map. This is the path that you can give it. Um, it's able to load the BLP images so you can just extract the world map from uh, WoW client but it should also be able to load PNG images if you have them as PNGs. Anyway I'm using the BLP right now. so. It cycles to the directory and it's looking for uh, another directories. Those are listed here in the in the maps list. And for example, let's try Desolas. Uh, where the fuck they are? I've just seen them a second ago. It's like people start. Oh, we have a search field over here. So Desolas. Okay, there it is. We have a, we have a map over here. And let's open as well the folder. There you go. So as you can see it just picked up these 12 images and nicely loaded them as a single image. And right now if you want you can save as a single image and it will create a result folder over here. And there we go. There is the image of the lace. You can start painting whatever you want over here and let's, let's save, copy the path, load the whole texture, there we go, here we are. So it loaded it and now I'm going to save as section images. And there you go, it also split it them so you can just convert these files to BLP from PNG that it that is used as an export and, and place it like like over it right over it and it will be immediately in game. No big deal, no big magic. It's pretty much all it can do. And right now there is one more extra feature that I wanted to talk about. Some maps are actually using more variations, for example like Draxaron Keep, so um, I've not been able to get it working properly, but here it is, there is the variation list box that is uh, making you be able to just switch between map X and map uh, Y. Uh, some maps will maybe not even work at all, for example like, I think it was the Hyjal map, something. Or was it? Yeah, this one. Kalidar. Like the fuck is the fuck is Kalidar? I mean, I I don't even noticed it in game. And as you can see, it's made out of like one, two, three, four, five, six. So like, it's not even at twelve images for this for this time being. But there is like Kalidar highlight. I'm not sure what this map is supposed to be. Like, I mean, it's obviously a uh, Teldrassil, the Night Elf picking zone, where right here should be the Darnassus, but 
I'm not sure the fuck is this map supposed to be, so I'm not um, going to fix it uh, and nor try to investigate why it's uh, there. Uh, since I'm using the same uh, algorithm to load every single map, you will maybe occur a few more mistakes or bugs in this code. But as, as I said, it's not perfect, but it does job done if it's pretty simply set up. So yeah, pretty much. That's that's like all of it. There is nothing else to say. So I hope you enjoy the tool and may it makes your WoW modding easier. <laughs> Good luck and see you.